On July 27, 2015, my mom took me to the vet because of a lump on my neck. They stuck a needle in it and found out it's a tumor on my thyroid gland. Statistically, the odds aren't exactly in my favor and mama is very sad. She's been gentler with me and she cries a lot. I hate to see her cry. I nestle up beside her and let her tears fall in my fur. I give her lots of licks to comfort her and let her know I love her. It's what I'm here for and have always done. Nothing has changed. My name is Buddy because I think everyone's my friend. I actually chose the name myself. My human picked me up at the flea market in May 2003 and life's never been the same. When she first picks me up, she hasn't yet decided on a name for me, but everyone keeps saying, oh, hey, buddy. I've always been a smart fellow, and I learned quickly that when people say buddy, they mean me. It just kind of sticks. I love hunting. Vermin and snakes are my favorite. I caught a toad once, but he tasted disgusting, and I learned that I should stick to vermin and snakes. Whitney and I like to go to the lake where she lets me run free, but usually I run straight for the water. It just feels so good on my body. I can't stop my little tail from wagging. Perhaps in a past life, I was a fish. Over the years, I've made some pretty awesome dog friends. I'm pretty picky and I've got high standards, but my best friend is Baloo. He's a Staffordshire Terrier mix and he looks out for me when we go in public. I always feel so cool with him by my side. Penny is another one of my favorites. She's really laid back like me and she loves to cuddle. Sometimes when I'm feeling extra generous, I'll let her cuddle with me. She also likes to hunt, so we have this in common. Then there's Dyson, who I used to spend a lot of time with. He kind of grew on me, and he's fun to boss around. Since I've gotten older, I've gotten to go on a lot of exciting trips with my human. She takes me everywhere, and that's just how I like it. Together, we've explored the big city of Chicago, hiked the mountains of Asheville, ran wild on a farm in Atlanta, we spent a day sightseeing and learning history in D.C., and I even got to go to my auntie's wedding in Jekyll Island. Mostly we drive, but I went on a plane once. It wasn't as much fun as the car, and the roaring engine noise was really loud on my ears, but if it means I get to be with Whitney, I'll do it again in a heartbeat. I have to watch over her, because even though she thinks she's taking care of me, really, I'm taking care of her. I had my surgery on August 17th, 2015, my mom drops me off at a hospital early in the morning. I'm not sure why I'm here because I don't feel sick, and mom just keeps crying. I can't figure out why she's so sad. I do my best to comfort her until a nurse comes and takes me away. The next thing I remember, I'm waking up in a kennel with other dogs around me. Where am I? What has happened to me? I'm pretty out of it, but I notice my throat is shaved, and I feel a strange sensation in my neck. Part of one of my legs is shaved too. I try to lick my leg and scratch at my neck to see what's going on up there. But these lovely nurses keep telling me to stop. I think they're pretty, so I listen and decide to spend my time flirting with them instead. I can tell they like me better than the other dogs here, so I keep up my flirting. Before I know it, it's the following day and I'm being picked up by Mama. I'm still pretty confused, but I'm glad to be back home and so excited to see Whitney. She's still crying a lot though, and I want to comfort her, but I just can't stay awake. I'm very sleepy. It's been a week since my surgery and I'm almost feeling back to normal. Mom says it's amazing how quick I'm healing. My neck still itches a little every now and then. I can feel my fur growing back. Sometimes I feel a little silly with my uneven hair, but the other day I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror and realized I look a bit like a lion, which makes me happy. Winnie's always been coming up with different nicknames for me, but most recently she started calling me Little Lion Man after one of her favorite songs, she says. But I know why she's really calling me this. Look at the flicker, there is. Look at the flicker, there is. Look at the flicker, there is.